Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Kevin and I'm here to teach you how to carve a mushroom pendant today. I have a few mushroom pendants right here like this and the tools that you're going to need to create a mushroom pendant, which is a very simple and easy thing to make. Um, the tools that you'll need will be a hand saw, a regular carving knife, a little bit of oil actually, so you can oil it at the end and a drill with a small drill bit, just a little bit larger than the string that you're going to use to thread through the mushroom at the end. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step to carving a mushroom pendant is drawing your outline on the piece of wood. So you can see the size of a little block that I have here today. Um, it's a piece of spalted black walnut. Um, and I'm going to draw the mushroom shape on here so that we know where to make our cuts later on. This is a real simple just kind of outline so that we can see where to make our cuts with the hand saw. All right, so as you can see, this one's going to be a little bit bigger than the other ones that I showed, but I think that um, it's going to be a better example and a little bit easier to see what I'm doing when I'm working on it as I make this. Obviously, you can make your mushrooms whatever size you'd like, but just know that this one's gonna be larger than the example ones. So this line right here will eventually cut all the way through the piece of wood, but we wanna leave it on right now so we can make things a little bit easier for our carving. The important cut that we need to do right now is these sides of the mushroom, just under the cap. As you can see, we're going to want to bring the blade in this far, but all the way around. So we won't just cut into just this side and this side. We'll actually need to do this on all four sides into the piece of wood and inside in the center, this will still be intact. I finished uh, using the handsaw to cut all the way around the bottom of the mushroom cap. And hopefully you can see through that little sliver right there that the center is still intact all the way around. So essentially I used the handsaw and cut an equal distance all the way around on all four sides. Next, we're going to use our uh, regular carving knife and cut from the base of the stem up to the bottom of the cap. We're just gonna cut these little slivers out. They should be pretty easy to remove because um, of these initial cuts that we made with the handsaw. So I'm using the thumb push uh, knife cutting technique, wood cutting technique. I'm just sort of pressing on the back of the knife. Um, if you wanna see more uh, wood cutting techniques and carving techniques, I have another video on how to use your carving knife. Uh, it should be linked somewhere up here maybe. Uh, but the main one we're gonna use today is just gonna be the thumb press. And without too much pressure, we're pushing right up to the top of the uh, stem here or the bottom of the cap, as I've been saying. Now, uh, we don't have to follow our drawing so much now. We actually just wanna carve right to where we, uh, to the piece that we left in the center. We wanna carve right to the stem. And I'm just working my way around in a circle. And again, this is a dry piece of wood, so it's a little bit harder to carve, but I'm not really applying a lot of pressure because I don't want to cut too much of the top off yet. We want to get the stem finished first. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. You can see, obviously, the stem of the mushroom coming up. Um, and as you can tell, we're going to cut this part free later on with the handsaw, but for right now we need to make the cap of the mushroom. 
And how we're going to do that is we're actually just going to take our knife and cut Starting with the corners, we'll take the tops of the corners up, in, and we'll eventually bring this around into a point. Being careful not to carve or pull your knife from under the cap, but sort of from the top right here. We're going to round it out later on, but right now we need to remove a bunch of material from the top until it comes to mostly a point or something pretty close to a point. So now you can see that we still have this square look with the cap of the mushroom. Now that we've removed a bunch of the material off the top, you can actually just use your thumb press and pop off that little corner around each side. Don't go in too deep. We just wanna take the corners off for now. There we go. Then you can start to remove a little more material as you go. And essentially you just wanna keep eyeballing it as you cut, because we're trying to achieve that rounded look. Here I'm using the thumb press to carefully remove those kind of flat, long sides just to give it a more curved and rounded look. We want it to look like nature or have that natural look. If you're running into the problem of having a bunch of little like snags and pieces at the top of the stem, you can take your knife and cut right to the very bottom or top of the stem, bottom of the cap, and then bring your knife up against and run it around. Now before we remove the whole mushroom from this uh, rest of the piece of wood here, um, we'll want to use the drill to put a hole through the cap of the mushroom so that we can wear it as a pendant. This is where leaving the piece of wood intact will come in handy because it's going to lay flat against the wood and then you can mark a small spot near the top, but not too close. You don't want to have it too close to any side of the, uh, of the mushroom here because you don't want it to split when you use the drill. So you could lay it down and it'll lay flat and steady, hold it tight, and then drill right down through the cap right here. And voila! Now that we have a hole drilled through the cap of the mushroom, we can use our handsaw to remove the mushroom itself from the rest of the wood. Just pick a spot and cut right through. Now because the handsaw tends to tear the wood, you'll want to use your uh, carving knife very carefully to just remove these little torn pieces of wood around the bottom of the stem. Now you can remove a length of cord. I have this, uh, I think it's faux leather cord. Just remove a whatever size you'd like and thread it through the cap of the mushroom. There we go. Um, you can always make a few little cleanup cuts if you feel like you need to. This one kind of has like a funny shape. We've got like a really big cap and a sort of a smaller stem you can always adjust the sizes whenever you are cutting and uh, drawing your initial mushroom. Um, but one more thing we wanna do is add a little oil just to kind of give it that pop of uh, the deep color. It's especially nice to add oil to um, black walnut. Kind of really deepens the color. As you can see, it works pretty well, works pretty immediately too. We have a nice little mushroom pendant. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you were able to make your own. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or 
Um, yeah, let me know how easy this was for you. This is a pretty simple pendant, only a few tools needed. And the main one is really just the hand saw and the drill. Thanks again. See you all in the next one.